Hello, everyone. This is Karen. Howdy, friends. I'm Shane. Today we're looking at part two of our daily conversation, and it's still about making new friends. And the vocabulary words are discuss. Discuss. At the meeting, the team discussed how to finish the project. Shoot. Shoot. The director said he could shoot the movie in 21 days. No way. Yeah. Major. Major. Ben's major is mathematics. College. College. Rosie has applied to six colleges so far. <gasps> I hope she gets in one of them at least. I don't think she will. She's not that smart. Be nice. Come、uh, on, be a friend. Maybe she'll get into the worst one. <laughs> I see. I'm not very good at making you, friends, you right?、Not. I'm、you're, too mean. No, you're not. Well, I think if yeah, if you want to make friends. First, you have to be really nice. Well, okay, but another thing is you have to find things in common with people. So one way, I guess so, to do that is by joining a school club. Something that you really like. Yeah. So if、okay. you share a common interest,、mm -hmm. then you can meet people who. Think the same way that you do, and then you would have probably a lot to talk about. Yeah, like I joined a vegetarian club. Actually, I started a vegetarian club、mm -hmm. at my college,、mm -hmm. and I was able to make a lot of friends. And the great thing was, is we all cared about the same stuff. So all of them were vegetarians too? No, not necessarily. People、okay. will join because they, you know, I was very handsome, so they just <laughs> want to be around me. No. Just to you know, make friends a lot of times, and to just learn new stuff.、So、Or they cared about the same issues as you. Exactly. Okay. So everybody was welcome. In fact. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So join a club. Meet、yeah. new people. Then you can find something that you enjoy to talk about too. Right.、Yes. Okay. Hope you can make a friend today. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> enjoy. Phil enters. The meeting has already started. Is this the movie club? This is the film club, capital F. And you are Phil, capital P. Try to get here on time. Sorry, I will. We're discussing which is better, shooting on film or digitally. What do you think, Phil? Well, shooting digitally is pretty convenient. Oh. Please, shooting on film is much more pure. You can't seriously prefer digital. We're all movie, I mean film buffs here, so let's try to get along. You're right. Welcome to the film club, Phil. Today's lesson is called making new friends. Part two. Hello, everyone. I'm Jeff, and I'm Mike. And yes, we're making new friends with Phil, Lisa, and Judy at a university that they are all new students at. So there's been a lot of meetings so far,、mm -hmm. uh, and new friends are being made. When we finished, Phil was heading off to his movie club meeting, and you that, mean his film yeah, club? Get the, the, it, the, Phil and. Film. I, I get、uh, that. I don't think that's a joke. But、uh, the title is the、good. film club's first meeting. Remember, yesterday Phil called it the movie club. So what's going on here? Anyways, yeah, films and movies.、They're、both kind of words refer、thing. to the same thing、yeah. for the most part. But yes, the third section of our daily conversation lesson is called the film club's first meeting. Now Phil enters. He goes into the meeting there. And the meeting has already started. Now he's late. He's he's a little bit late. Now Phil's going to be with us today. Then there's also a club president, the club president of the film club, and then also a young lady named Hannah. Okay, all right. So as Phil comes in, he sees that there's already a bunch of people there. Maybe he feels like he's interrupting because they've already started. So he just wants to make sure he's in the right place. Is this the movie club? Yes,、mm. and the club president answers by saying, "This is the film club, capital F."、Oh. Yeah, people who are serious about movies often call movies films.、Oh, okay. Anyways, this is the film club, capital F, and you are. And then Phil answers with his name, Phil. 
Capital P. Capital P. Oh, this is his little sort of comeback to、mm. the、uh, the movie club president, who was being a little bit mean by saying it's the film club with an F. So Phil says, "Oh, okay, my name's Phil with a P." Because it is actually a strangely spelled name, P H I L. But this is just sort of his way of saying "ye" to the、uh, the movie club president, who was being a little too serious、mm-hmm. there. Now the club president gets down to business.、Yes. Okay, try to get here on time, the president、oh, says, and Phil、guy? Phil recognizes that yes, he was late and he shouldn't have been late. So he says, "Sorry, I will. I will try to get here on time next time." Then. He sits down. He sits down beside Hannah. Okay, and the meeting gets back to what they were doing before. So the club president says, "We're discussing which is better, shooting on film or digitally. What do you think, Phil?" So that was the topic that they were talking about in the film club meeting、mm-hmm. this evening. Now here we have the verb discuss. If you discuss something, you talk about that thing. Seriously, with a lot of detail. Okay, that's what it means to discuss a topic. Okay, you talk about something and you take it seriously. For example, at the meeting, the team discussed how to finish the project. Yes, let's stop chatting about unimportant things. Let's get on. Let's get on with things and discuss how to do something important. Oh, okay. So yes, they're discussing. Uh, you know, movie making techniques and the equipment that you use. And when you make a film, we often use this verb to shoot. You shoot a film. We could also say you shoot a picture with a, just、mm-hmm. a normal camera. But basically, it means you're using a camera to record some action that's going on in front of the camera. All right. So the movie people will set up the camera. The actors will go over there. They'll get the lights all right. And then when someone says "rolling" or something like that, then the cameras will start to turn. The cameras will start to record. They are now shooting. The film, yeah, the same thing you'd say with a gun, but here you're not shooting a target; you're capturing some action on film. For example, the director said he could shoot the movie in 21 days. He could film all the movie, all the action required in three weeks. So, what does Phil think? Digital cameras or old film cameras?、Mm. He says, "Well, shooting digitally is pretty convenient." Okay. And then the club president again steps in. Oh, the club president is more of an artist apparently than Phil, and says, "Oh, please, shooting on film is much more pure. You can seriously prefer digital." So this film guy, he's like one of those guys who only likes old technology. He doesn't like electric cars. He likes horses. He doesn't <laughs> like listening to music on an MP3 player. He likes. Hiring an orchestra to play for him live. He's like an old-fashioned guy who only、sure. likes old-fashioned stuff. Computer stuff, not as good. Now this is where Hannah steps in. She says, "Hey, we're all movie, I mean film buffs here. So let's try to get along." And the club president says, "Okay, you're right. Welcome to the film club." Okay, so peace has come back to the meeting. That's nice. Let's take a break, and then we'll be back, and we'll see if Phil and the club president end up fighting about it. I, I hope not. I hope not. I hope That not. would be a bad film club. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。这两天的绘画是关于交新朋友。在第三段对话当中 ，Phil 参加电影社的第一次聚会。当他进教室的时候，聚会已经开始了。那么 Phil 就问说：“这里是不是电影社 ？Movie club？” 然后社长就很故意说：“这里是影片社 （film club）， 大写 F。”好 ，Jeff 老师提到说，比较认真严肃看待电影的人呢，会把电影称为 film， 而不是 movie。所以那位社长他讲话是蛮故意的。然后这时候社长就请 Phil 报上名来，然后 Phil 也故意回答说，他的名字是 Phil， 大写 P。好，社长接着就说：“下次请准时到。”现在呢，这个现场似乎有一股火药味了。然后 Phil 就道歉，然后坐下来。他坐在 Hannah 旁边。在这次的聚会当中，他们正在讨论用底片和数位哪一种的拍摄方式比较好。社长又很故意的问 Phil 意见，然后 Phil 就说：“用数位方式拍摄很方便啊。”
。这时候社长就露出一副很不屑的样子，说：“哼，拜托，用底片才是更到地、更纯粹的方式。你该不会真的偏好数位摄影吧？你是在开玩笑的吧？”然后 Hannah 马上出来缓颊说：“哎呀，大家都是电影迷，要试着好好相处嘛。”那这边用到两个单字 ：discuss、discuss 表示讨论或是商谈，这个字是动词。那么 shoot、shoot 在课文里面它是指拍摄、拍照。那这个动词的三态是 shoot、shot、shot。至于 digital。Digital， 它是形容词，形容数位的。文中的 digitally，digitally digitally, 则是副词，表示用数位方式的。接回到课文中。Phil is on the MRT. Hannah sees him. Remember me, Hannah from the movie club meeting. Film club. Not you too. I didn't get a chance to ask you earlier. What's your major? I'm majoring in history. How about you? Japanese. How's college so far? It's been a lot to take in, but I think it's going to be a great year. This is my stop. It's been fun talking to you. See you around campus. Okay, let's start on section four of this month's daily conversation lesson. Section four is called. Heading home now. Phil is back, and so is Hannah. Phil is on the MRT, and Hannah sees him. Okay, so the school day seems to be over. Everyone's going back home after classes, and they, you know, a couple of friends run into each other. Here it's Hannah from the film club. So she sees Phil, and she walks over and says, "Remember me?" And then she sort of gives him a clue. Hannah. From the film club meeting, movie says, club meeting. Sorry, movie club meeting. She says where they met and her name, and this seems to be enough to remind Phil that they met in the movie club. And apparently, Phil still has his、mm -hmm. sense of humor. He、mm -hmm. says, "Movie club? No. Remember, film club." They don't want the club president、yeah. to hear them and run over and yell at them. Now Hannah says, "Ah." Not you too. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to ask you earlier. What's your major? So she's hoping. Oh, don't be pretentious like the club president. Can't we all get along? Movies and films, whatever you call them, we like them, don't we? We share that. Anyways, then she also asks a question. Very often, college students will ask this question of、mm. one another. What's your major? So, if you're asking this question, you're asking someone, "What are you studying specifically while he while you're here in college or while you're here at university?" Yeah, your major is the subject that you focus on while in college. Okay. By the way, here the word major is being used as a noun. For example, Ben's major is mathematics, so mostly he's taking courses on. Mathematics. I'm majoring in history, Phil says. So that's his major. So as you said, most of his classes, maybe eighty, seventy, eighty percent, will be about history. But he can take classes about other things. But just a few. How about you? He asks her. What is your major? How about you? And Hannah says Japanese. So she's going to become very good at speaking, reading, writing Japanese when she finishes her university. And then she asks, How's college? So far, so basically, how is school so far? But here she uses the name of the type of school they're at. They're at college or university. College and university are used pretty much in the same way. There are some small differences. People in America probably say, "I go to college," much more than people in maybe Canada, or the UK, Australia. They might say, "I go to university," or even shorten it to uni. U N I. That's what a lot of Brits and Aussies say at uni. I I majored in this, but it's all college, university, the school you go to after high school. For example, Rosie has applied to six colleges so far. Okay, good for her. Good for her.、Yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and. Wrap things up. So, how's college treating Phil? Phil is going to tell us about、mm. that right now. He says it's been a lot to take in. Yes, there's a lot of new stuff that、new、I've got、experience. to experience. I'm being overwhelmed slightly right now, but I think it's going to be a great 
year. Then he says, sorry, but this is my stop. This is my MRT stop. I'm going to get off the train. This is my stop, he says, but it's been fun talking to you. See you around campus. I Remember, think, he I think sings to Hannah. I think they've made friends. I think that they've made I friends. Think they've done it. Well done, Successfully. Phil. Successfully. Well done. They might Phil. even talk to each other tomorrow. Maybe they'll talk again when they go to the film <gasps> club or the movie club. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. All right, folks, with that, our lesson is in the books, and we are all done. And it's time for us to say bye-bye. Take care. 在第四段对话中，我们看到 Phil 在搭捷运准备要回家了。那 Hannah 突然看到他，就走过去跟他打招呼。他说：“你还记得我吗？我是电影社的 Hannah。”然后因为 Hannah 他是用 movie club， Phil 就故意开玩笑纠正他说是 film club。好，然后 Hannah 就回答说 ：“Not you two， 怎么连你也这样啊 ？”Not you two， 意思就是说你别跟他一样又来了，你不会也这么做作吧？ Jeff 老师刚刚用到 pretentious 这个字，它是拼作 p r e t e n t i o u s。pretentious 就是形容做作的。好，接着这两个人就开始聊天，问到彼此的主修科目。Phil 主修历史 ，Hannah 主修日文。Hannah 就问 Phil 上大学到目前为止过得怎么样。那么 Phil 可能觉得，哎，很多要适应，很多要了解的，有点招架不住。不过呢，他也对未来充满了期待，觉得会是很棒的一年。那说到这里，他也刚好要下车了。我们最后来看两个单字 ，major，major major, 当名词可以用来指大学的主修科目，那么当动词可以表达主修。至于 college，college college, 表示大学或是学院。College 用来指大学的时候，意思就跟 university 一样。Mike 老师提到说，有一些英国人跟澳洲人会用 uni u n i 来指大学。好，那这时候老师用到口语用法说 ，Brit b r i t 是指英国人，还有 Aussie a u s s i e 则是指澳洲人，这两个都是口语用法。另外，刚刚说到上大学有很多要适应，会有点招架不住。那我们可以用 overwhelmed 这个字 ，o v e r w h e l m e d。overwhelmed 就是形容人感到难以招架的、难以承受的。好，那么以上是这个讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦。大家好，我是 Hanny， 欢迎收看我们的文法单元。今天要介绍两个片语，第一个是 on time， 第二个是 take in。我们先来学 on time， 副词片语 on time， 它是指按照约定或是预定的时间，也就是准时的意思。这个片语你可以摆在 be 动词的后面来当补语用，或是用来修饰一般动词。举例来说 ，be sure to get there on time。务必要准时到达。再看一个例句 ，Mark checked online to see if his sister's plane would be on time. Mark 上网查看妹妹的班机是否会准时抵达。好，那顺便补充一下，片语 in time 则是指及时、来得及，像是 Don't worry, we'll get there in time. 别担心，我们会及时到达，一定会来得及的。好，最后我们来学 take in。片语动词 take in 是及物用法。那我们以下介绍几种常见的用法。第一种呢是指摄取、吸收，也可以用来表达理解啊、领会、吸收某个讯息、知识等等的。像是 the students remained silent as they took in the professor's lecture。学生们在听教授讲课的时候，全都保持安静，因为大家都听不懂，大家都在放空，放空到都要流口水。好了，来第二个意思是指参观、观赏。例如 ，They took in several museums on their trip to New York. 他们去纽约旅行时有参观好几个博物馆。那第三个用法呢，是指提供住所、收容、收留。像是 ，We took in two stray cats. 我们收留了两只流浪猫。好，以上是今天重点整理。我们下次见喽，拜拜。
。欢迎回到《就爱讲英文》英文，我是 Steven， 我是 Kate。Kate， 你在工作上常会碰到挫折吗？嗯、呃，其实还蛮顺的、哦。我觉得多少都是会啦，谢谢表示说没有认真工作，<笑>看你主持比较多挫折。<笑><笑>好了，在工作上如果碰到挫折呢，我们今天会用一些英文教你们怎么鼓励你的同事。对，快点跟我说。对对对，好。<笑>第一个呢是 hang in there。Hang in there. 嗯，然后 hang in there. 平常这个感觉叫后面就是拍一下他的背。Hang in there. 那 hang in there 是什么意思呢？嗯、你知道，如果今天我在悬崖，然后我在啊，<笑>我要掉啊，<笑>对不对？除了你可以就是帮我，就是扶起来，对不对、嗯、？Which I think you should. 你应该要这样做。但是另外，你可以用鼓励说哦，<笑> hang in there. <笑>你可以为什么又变讽刺了、啊？<笑>就表示说不要放弃，嗯，不要继续就是加油，加油，就是你总是可以就把这抬起来那种感觉。对，好，那就是 hang in there， hang in there。好，第二个呢是 stick to it， stick to it， 嗯， stick to it。可是我觉得这些，因为有的时候你没有办法帮到你同事，就是 physically 帮他，对不对？你只能用精神上面的帮他，所以这些字就鼓励嘛。对，我想讲的是这些感觉，就很像是我没有要帮你，就是你自己加油。都只是要拍拍哦。对，因为 stick to it 就是意思是说，就像呃胶水，我今天放了胶水，我就是 stick， 对不对？那如果你今天坚持不要放弃你要做的事情呢，就是一直要坚持做这个事情，维持做这个事情，我会说 stick to it。嗯 ，stick to something、嗯。对 ，stick to something。那 stick to， 如果你说 stick to something 呢，就表示说这个比较不像鼓励的话，这个比较很像在劝一个人不要一直改来改去。哦、oh,。你就就做一件事情，做那个事情、嗯、就一直做，坚持到底。对对对对。Oh. 所以如果是 stick to it， 就是不要放弃的意思。不要放弃、嗯、，stick to it。好，第三跟第四呢，其实是是差不多一样的意思，但我们稍微解释一下。第三呢是 you are almost there。You are almost there. 对 ，keep going. You are almost there. 嗯，那就是 keep going。对，可以 keep going 的意思。那为什么呢？因为我们会觉得你今天要做一件事情，从零到一百呢，就是一个旅程嘛。对。所以你现在呢，可能在七十、八十碰到一些挫折，那旁边的人跟你说 ，You are almost there， 感觉你快到 finish line。嗯，你就快完成了。你快完成了，就继续继续。You can do it. Keep going. 对，所以 almost 就是几乎，你几乎都到了。嗯，这个这句话是真的还蛮有力量，而且蛮温暖的。对，就跟第四句。一模一样。You are on your way. You are on your way. 这个的感觉跟第三有一点小不一样，还是一样是领到一百那种感觉对对对，但是你可能没有到七十八十那么远、嗯，你可能是三十四十，就是你你还有很长的一个路要走<笑>，但是你已经 on your way 了。对，至少你是在这个路上，你的方向是对的对，你至少在往前走。对，你在往前走。对 ，You are on your way、嗯。这个感觉也可以有一点点，就是。可能还有很长的距离，所以就是你也不要说 like oh you got a long ways to go， <笑>这样完全没有鼓励啊。You're on your way。对，你在路上了。对对对对,对。那 on your way 如果是一个大家觉得没有听过，比如说今天我迟到了，我要跟 Kate 约，嗯、我迟到了，我会说 Oh I'm on my way， 我在路途中了。嗯，我在路上了。对，就是 on your way 就是在路途中。OK， 好,好，那今天呢，呃，虽然这是怎么去鼓励你的。挫折的同事也可以在任何的情况，如果有碰到挫折，可以用这些话来鼓励身边的人。好，那我们来看看 live action。Gosh, I've revised this briefing six times. Hand in there. You are almost finished with it. Just read it carefully. I'm so frustrated. What if the boss asks me to revise it again? Cheer up. You are on your way. Okay, I am almost there. I will stick to it. D, hang in there. D, er, stick to it. D, son, you are almost there. D, si, you are on your way. <laughs> 